Clean Mobility's purpose is to uh, empower every and any vehicle maker to go electric. Uh, our strategy is to uh, develop high performance um, electric powertrains, uh, starting with a battery system and um, a modular system that uh, for the world's uh, not just passenger vehicles but the workhorses, the construction machines, the agricultural vehicles, the mining vehicles. Um, so uh, the, the purpose is to serve the world's uh, uh, mobility with uh, our very modular uh, battery system and power chain system. Uh, we're standing in front of our Miss R prototype supercar. And this supercar serves many roles here at Zing. Uh, besides being kind of the obvious supercar project, this is actually where we do a lot of our R&D testing and development. Uh, doing R&D testing in the lab is very good and we have a full laboratory where we do traditional R&D testing in the laboratory, but this is really our secret test bed. Here we're able to use all of our standard products but use them in a very extreme environment. Uh, we drive this car off-road in sand, salt water, mud, rocks, dirt on the racetrack at very high g-forces. And that's really been the real-world test for the durability, strength, and reliability for our products that trades back to our traditional kind of construction, uh, construction agriculture uh, vehicles, uh, customers that are using these battery packs um, to power their vehicles. What's unique about the Immersio concept is that we're circulating a coolant through the battery, and that coolant ensures that all of, this, all of the modules and all of the cells inside the module are maintained at an equal temperature. So we don't have any hot spots in our battery. It allows us to do fast charge faster than our competitors. It allows us to have a longer cycle life in real world conditions. And of course, it can support very high peak power outputs when needed. Uh, this is a unique technology that's only available at Zing Mobility, particularly in this modular format where the batteries are assembled in a Lego-like architecture where they can be mixed and matched in, uh, to build any kind of size and shape that's necessary for our customers. So not only do we, are we able to offer unique sizes and shapes with our modular architecture, we can also uh, offer fast swap. So there's a variety of different ways to, to do battery charging. Uh, our solution supports very high C rates or charge cycles or, or charge time, so we can get charge times down as low as 30 minutes or maybe even less. In addition, we have this architecture which allows us to do battery swap. This complete battery box can be swapped out from the car in about five minutes uh, and the car can actually lift itself up with its inbuilt jacking system. The battery can be lowered from the car. A new battery can be installed into the vehicle. We utilize these blind mate connectors that allow the battery to just click right into place. Uh, there's no cabling or wiring that needs to be done by the user. And battery swap is about a five minute process uh, with this architecture. So for the Immersio battery, as installed in our MISR supercar, uh, generates one megawatt of output power. That's 1300 uh, horsepower. That horsepower is delivered to a four-wheel drive system that utilizes four individual motors and allows us to do zero to 100 kilometers an hour in less than two seconds. Uh, that, that acceleration is with our on-road wheel and tire package. And then the vehicle can be switched to the wheels and tires that you see in the background for an off-road uh, performance that's unequaled. So still over offering over a thousand horsepower in an off-road environment with full torque vectoring gives the user, gives the driver maximum performance, but while still being able to maintain and deploy all 1,000 horsepower. But now let's look in detail at our supercar. Uh, this is a unique application of the Immersio system in which we are maximizing, we're getting maximum power, but we're also getting maximum performance. We'll start here. This is a very unusual wheel and tire package for a supercar. Uh, this is the only off-road supercar in the world. Uh, these tires and wheels and brake package come from the Dakar Rally. Suspension is also from Dakar Rally winner. Um, and so this vehicle is designed for not just off-road performance, but high-speed extended off-road performance. As we look at the vehicle, one of the first things you'll notice is a carbon fiber monocoque. Again, a very unusual choice for an off-road supercar. But in our chase to give a stiff vehicle structure and also lightweight, this was the ideal way to solve that problem. As we come back a little further in the vehicle, 
You'll notice the side-mounted radiators, which allow us to bring cool air into the vehicle, uh, cool air into the radiator package to maintain temperature when we're running those very high discharge powers. And again, if you look closely, you'll notice CNC machined front and rear uh, subframes, one of the only vehicles in the world to utilize the CNC um, subframe. That allows us to have a very lightweight but stiff and rigid chassis. It also allows us to have very good dimensional accuracy so the vehicle is very precise front to rear. From the very front of our vehicle to the very rear of our vehicle is only three pieces and that ensures very good accuracy and means the handling is very crisp for the driver. All right, so we utilize a unique cooling system made up with a micro tube radiator. This radiator is made out of 20,000 very small stainless steel tubes. This allows us to have a very small lightweight radiator that gives us the best heat exchange or cooling properties in a small lightweight package. From there, you can see our CNC machine front subframe. Subframe is made of just three pieces that are all uh, bolted together and we even have tanks built directly into the subframe. From there, you'll see our push rod suspension, which is, has a rocker arm built in and dampers are supplied by Rigere. Uh, push rod suspension is rarely seen on off-road cars, but because this is an off-road supercar, we needed to develop an on-road suspension and an off-road suspension in one. We're able to utilize our adjustable rocker arm to change the ride height, shock travel, and damping while the driver is still in the driver's seat. So here we are under the Missar supercar. This is a view that very few people get a chance to see, but there's some very cool stuff down here. So I'm happy to show you around. One of the first things I wanna point out are the electrical connections and fluid connections that are used for our uh, battery swap. These are the fluid connections here and electrical connections. The fluid connections are self-sealing. We call them a dry brake fitting. Once you remove the battery, you just drop it down and there's no fluid loss. And when you put the battery back up, the electrical connections are made automatically and the fluid closes, opens automatically to allow the coolant to flow. From there, one of the next things that we have are our motors. And in this case, in Miss R, we have one motor for each wheel. So this is our left rear motor, right rear, rear motor. The motors are completely independent. There's no mechanical differential and between the motors, there's only an electronic differential. That allows us to simulate a limited slip differential, a fully locked differential, or an open differential. And even we can do things like speed control on individual wheels. That allows us to do torque vectoring. So as you see, when I spin this wheel, the right wheel does not turn at all. And we can turn this wheel forward, this wheel backwards. There's no connection between the two wheels. We can do whatever we want. Uh, from a wheel speed or wheel torque standpoint. So then as we come around towards the rear of the vehicle, the first thing we'll look at is the brake package. Very unusual brake package. We utilize AP Racing six piston calipers all the way around, but they're liquid cooled calipers. Because we have an off-road vehicle, we have these 16 inch wheels, which means the caliper, the rotors are a little bit small. And to maintain even brake temperature, we go to the liquid cooled caliper. These are Dakar Rally winners and very proven technology, but also gives the driver a very consistent brake pedal. As we come towards the rear of the car, you can see the gearboxes. It's very unusual for a company our size to design and develop our own gearbox. In this case, we designed and developed four individual gearboxes, one for each wheel. So this gearbox is linked to this motor and goes directly to that wheel. This gearbox goes to this motor. Again, no mechanical connection between them. If we go up a bit higher, you can see again our uh, liquid, our, our radiators with the micro tubes. And again, this one is around 20,000 small tubes and it gives us very, very high performance on heat exchange uh, while giving really light weight. And from here, you can see some of our coolant tanks and pumps that are utilized to keep the temperatures under control when we're deploying all one megawatt of power at 1300 horsepower.